In this video, we're doing our second upgrade to our Shopify blog pages. We're adding a sidebar to our blog and articles. The sidebar works best if you add the badges first, so I do suggest checking out our previous video if you haven't already. Link in the description. As I mentioned in the last video, Shopify is really great for e-commerce, but I often wish that they had some better blog features. And as usual, we've made these customizations for ourselves and we're sharing it with you all. You're gonna see this customization in practice though, because you may have noticed that we use Notion for most of our instructions and the code that we share. Well, we're now going to share that code on our own website. And since we're all about Shopify customizations, we're doing it on Shopify. Check it out if you want, theprompted.co. We'll be slowly building it out over the coming weeks and months. All right, so let's look at our customization for this video and add a sidebar to our blogs. Okay, so here is our demo store again. Um, we've added the sidebar and we also have the badges from the previous video. So we just built on top of it. Um, you can see here, we've got these um, badges also in the sidebar, which is why I was saying it's better to, to have the badges first and it can act as a filter, right? So if we want to see all the articles, it's got all. Um, if we want to check out only the ones that are tagged with environment, then um, it's just these two here. So if we click that, you'll see these two. It filters based on the tags though. So your blog will have to be structured in that way. But I think it's a pretty natural way to organize our articles and, and blog. Um, if we go into one of these blog posts, you'll see that there's also a sidebar here and this is to navigate within the article itself. So you can see here, um, you know, we can scroll down or we can click on uh, say forest, the earth's lung, and it'll just take us to this part of the page right there, right? We can jump back up to uh, marine ecosystems. So this is a little navigation sidebar to go through our article, especially when the article can be pretty long, this can be really helpful. Um, it's sticky, right? So it'll stay on the page until you reach the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much our two little sidebars, one for the article page and one for the, the, the blog page where all the article cards are being shown. We can jump into our theme editor and take a look at the settings. So we can, uh, we, we're right now at the default blog, right? So blogs, default blog, and then go to the theme settings. And we've got this blog custom sidebar settings area. So we can just kind of go through all these different settings. So you have a sense of what you can customize here with this, uh, this customization. So the first one here is the blog title. So since we're organizing by uh, tags, um, maybe it doesn't make as much sense to show the name of the, the blog. In this case, it's called news, but it, you might have something else. Um, and so when you're filtering through, um, it's always just gonna say news up there. Maybe that doesn't make sense in this case, based on the way it's organized. So we have an option to just hide that. Um, we have an option to just show or hide the blog sidebar, right? So that's this one here on the blog page. Um, if you don't want it, you wanna go back to default, you can hide it, right? So this is just added functionality in there. Um, the title, right? So this title here, categories, you can call it tags, uh, you can call it whatever you want. So uh, that's what it is. Um, Okay, here is the filter options. So we can do it by buttons, right? So you can click through, or you could do it by checkbox. And so now we have all these, all of our tags by checkbox. If we save and then uh, refresh here, this, this function's a little bit different. So with the buttons, you can only choose one tag at a time and it'll just pick all of the articles that contain that tag. Here, you can actually pick more than one. So for example, if we want, um, uh, so we've got nature and we've got sustainability. So nature, there's only gonna be the one here. You check say sustainability as well. Both are gonna show up. Um, if you remove them all, then all of them will show. If you only want environment, then those two will show. So it lets us select multiple tags at once, essentially. Okay, so um, if we come back to our theme editor again, uh, we can go back to say tag buttons. So here we can, this, tag here is not actually a tag that's in your articles. This one is one that's coded in uh, and it allows you to go back out and choose all the articles. And so you can just change what you want to call that. You could call it all articles, for example, and it will change the tag there. Okay, here show latest featured articles. So we've got a, another section here. Uh, it'll show one article. Uh, you can hide it if you want. You don't want to show it. 
it'll just go away. Uh, but if you do want to show it, it's going to show the latest article that uh, matches whichever tags you put into here. So in this case, um, since environment is these two uh, articles here, the latest one is going to be this test blog too, which is why it's showing here. If you decide to select, say, sustainability, there's only one, so it's just going to show the one here. And if you take it out, it's just going to show the latest article regardless of tags. And so let's, uh, let's go back to our blogs because we want to show all of the articles. And then if we take out this tag here, it's going to show the fourth one, right? Because that's the latest one here. So that just gives you uh, a little bit of control on how to select your featured one. Maybe you have like five articles that you want to feature. Then you can just give it a featured tag, for example, and then it will only pick the latest one from there. And if you use it in conjunction with the, uh, the exclusion list that we were talking about in the previous video, right? So you can actually exclude the featured tag. So it also doesn't show up on the front end. It just gives you a little bit of extra flexibility on how you, uh, how you have these badges and buttons show. Okay, so next we have blog article settings. So let's just jump into a blog article and then come to our settings here again. Okay, so we've got the sidebar. Do we want to show it or not? So that's uh, pretty straightforward, right? So you can hide it and this will just be the default way the articles are shown. Uh, we can add the checkbox there and it will add our sidebar, which is the customization we've just added. Uh, and the title, click navigation. You can change it to whatever you want. Click nav, for example. Um, and finally, we've got this color scheme. So this color scheme is going to affect both the article sidebar and the blog page sidebar. So if you want this to be, I don't know, blue, for example, then this is what it's going to look like. Um, and then if we hop back out to our blogs page, it's also going to show up as blue. So that's the sidebar and all the settings. If you like what you see, keep watching. We're going to add it to our theme now. Okay, so we're now in the themes area and we're going to work where we left off with the uh, blog badges customization from the previous video. Now, like I mentioned before, it's best to work off of the previous customization, but it's not necessary. You can do this customization on a fresh install um, without adding the badges in, but it does work best because the sidebar does incorporate some of the badges in there. Um, but it's up to you if you want to do that or not. So regardless, just make sure that you duplicate your theme before you start making any customizations, any edits, uh, because if something goes wrong, it'll just be easier to revert back to the previous version. Um, I've already gone ahead and done that, so um, I'm just going to uh, edit code. Um, and before we start, actually, here it is. Um, this is where we, this is the customization with the badges in here, but without the sidebar. Okay, so these are the files that we edited in our previous video, and we're just going to keep going now. And we're going to start with the settings schema.json file. And so previously, we added this uh, custom badge area. We're going to this time put in a uh, custom sidebar settings area. So we're just going to copy and paste that in and save. And we can just take a look at uh, this settings area that we just added. So we'll hop into the theme editor and you can see here blog custom sidebar. So that's what we just added in. We've got all these different settings here that we were talking about in our demo, but none of this actually works right now because we haven't added the code that uh, looks at what those settings are. So, you know, this isn't going to do anything. Okay, so let's keep moving on. We're going to now go to the main dash blog file and we're going to add a new style sheet CSS at the top. Just copy and paste that in. And then we're going to come down a bit uh, and we're going to look for the title here. So H1 title primary. And so we'll just add a space, a little bit of space above, a little bit of space below. And we're going to copy and paste this unless. 
And so this is the first customization we're adding in to give us the option to hide the title if we want, right? So that's that's this toggle right here. So that's what we're that's what we're uh, allowing ourselves to do. Um, next is we're going to uh, add the sidebar structure into our code. And so we're going to be looking for the blog articles uh, div here, which is just below the title. And uh, it's going to start here and end right there. So you just create a little bit of space and we're going to copy and paste a little bit of code above it. And we're going to copy and paste some code below it. Okay, and so we're just going to save that and let's keep moving on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look for the div with the class blog dash articles. Um, and we're going to add an ID to that div. And so we'll just copy and paste our div and we're going to place it right there in front of the class. And so we've just added that in. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some data parameters or data attributes. Um, and so um, in this next div here, right? So the div uh, with the class blog dash articles underscore underscore articles, uh, right before it closes, right? With this right here, we can add our data tags right there. And what this is going to do is it's going to pass the, uh, the tags to uh, our JavaScript. Okay. So our next step is to create a new snippet. And so we're going to come here, snippets, add a new snippet. And we're going to call this sidebar content blog dot liquid. Okay. And we're just going to copy and paste our code and just paste it in there and save. Okay. Next we're going to add some, uh, assets. So let's come to the assets area, add a new asset, and this is going to be a CSS file. So we'll call this component sidebar custom. And we're going to copy and paste our code right into this file. And, and then we're going to do that again, except for a different CSS file. So we're going to create a new one again, and we'll call this component checkbox custom. Okay. And so this one is going to be for the checkbox version of our filtering. Uh, and we're just going to save that. And now we should have a sidebar for our, uh, our, uh, article pa uh, blog pages. So let's just refresh and we should now be able to show our blog sidebar. There we go. There it is. Uh, if we want to show the latest feature article, we can show that as well. And like I mentioned before, we can adjust all these different settings, but there's our sidebar. Um, we can just save that, but we haven't yet added it to our article page. So we're going to have to do that next. So let's come back to our, uh, code editor and we're going to the main dash article dot liquid file. And we're going to refer to one of the CSS files that we just created at the very top. And we're going to now add some code to create that sidebar structure as well. And so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the content, right? So it's when content and right here, this is the content of our article, which is, uh, just all this text right here that we have in here. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to just create a little bit of space above and below, and we're going to copy and paste our code above it. And we're going to copy and paste our code below it as well. Okay. Let's save. And then similar to last time where we were, uh, referring to a new sidebar content blog snippet, which is why we created that snippet. In this case, we're referring to a sidebar content article snippet, which we're going to now create. And so we can go to snippets, add a new snippet, 
we'll call it sidebar content article dot liquid and we're going to just copy and paste our code into it okay and we can go ahead and save that and now we should be able to uh, refresh and then we can go into one of our blog posts so let's say this one here and we come back to our settings we can turn on the sidebar here so show article sidebar there we go and it's going to automatically grab the h2 and h3 headers in your article so if you go to your blog posts area and then just open up the post here so if anytime there's an h2 or an h3 it's going to automatically grab it and add it to your to uh to your sidebar and so let's just refresh here oh maybe i didn't save let's save that first there we go okay so these these are just automatically populated based on your headers um, and so h2s will be uh, a little bit larger text um, and then it's going to be left justified and then your h3s are going to be a little slightly smaller and it's going to be indented slightly as well and so if you're building out your your blog post you can use h2 and h3 uh, to create that uh, to create those navigation there um, if you want to adjust them then you're going to have to go into the code a little bit and uh, kind of make an adjustment to which headers are being pulled uh, and being used in your navigation sidebar. Okay, so there we have it. We've now added a sidebar to go along with the badges on our blog pages, giving our blog pages some much needed features. If you like this customization, it would mean a lot to me if you could like and subscribe. We've got lots more customizations, so check out our YouTube channel or our brand new website, theprompted.co. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.